This is Behind Bars demo version 1.1. It's just a small um, bug fix uh, and update to good credits. Uh, so we got two bug testers here. Um, and the main fixes were found by this one, uh, my friend Landon. He's great uh, and he does game design stuff. Um, and then Lena also tested it and made sure there were no like huge immediately obvious issues. Um, so, I'll put the clips here, um, but they're kind of related, um, but the two bugs were that, uh, you could spam the door sound. And then, bedroom door, is there any door I can spam? So I think it's basically anything that makes a sound. I don't know if that's just part of the engine, but... Um, which, the only sound you should be able to spam is this one. But you could do the same thing with doors. Uh, and the other one was that if you... Uh, I'll put a clip because it explains it better, but if you clicked one and while you're waiting for the sound you clicked another room, the buttons from the first room you loaded would load in the other ones, and that, that could cause all sorts of problems. Okay, so right now, <laughs> I have a head on the table, but basically, it's easiest to do in, in this room, but there's a delay when the sound plays, so if I click the cafeteria and then click another door, it brings up the cafeteria button so I can go to food storage and all this, but it also brings up this. And if I do that in reverse, like if I open hall and then cafeteria, I go into here, but I still have the uh, buttons from, and you can stack that because now I can go to food storage and then I can go, and I can go back to cafeteria and I can press the back button as that's doing that. And it's stackable so that you just cover your screen and buttons. So, two birds, one stone, I just made it so that whenever you click a door, the sound plays out after it turns instead of playing a full sound before you turn the door. Uh, I don't like the effect as much, but it's definitely better than breaking the game. So, that's the entire bug fix. Okay.